the next couple of hours, we'll be watching these heavy showers and storms progressing eastward across the area. So if you're just tuning in now, we do have a flash flood warning in effect for the New Orleans metro area for the next couple of hours because of these heavy showers and storms and frequent lightning within these storms as well. Make sure you take it easy on your Thursday afternoon. Drive carefully out there. Heavy rain parked over the city. Counter through Metairie into the city of New Orleans. Yeah, it's some heavy showers, especially in the uptown neighborhood. Let me even zoom in closer right over here. River Ridge and Elmwood seeing some heavy showers. That's starting to pass off to the east into the River Bend area. So yeah, heavy rain and some brief gusty winds and frequent lightning within these storms extending eastward through uptown into mid city into the Gentilly area. City Park seeing some heavy storms. Make sure you take it easy on this afternoon on the roadways. Try not to speed and just take it slowly on the roadways since these showers they come down so hard it's like blinding rain. But yeah, looking back west, some strong storms moving east towards Lake Maurepas, so our river parishes seeing some copious amounts of rain driving along I-10 right now headed westward towards Baton Rouge. Certainly rough, frequent lightning within these storms too and brief gusty winds, but it's the heavy showers that we'll be monitoring over the next several hours. North Shore will be seeing some storms later this afternoon. They're still west of I-55 now, but they're headed eastward. And there's that severe thunderstorm warning uh, kind of just east of Walker in between Walker and Hammond not quite in Hammond because of the strong wind gust potential within this storm. So you can see wind gusts maybe up to 50, 55 miles per hour on the North Shore getting into later this afternoon. But we'll be watching these for you over the next couple of days. Honestly, this is probably going to be the story. We did this yesterday. We had flash flood warnings in the New Orleans Metro. We'll probably do it tomorrow. This weekend, there's a high chance for numerous showers and storms. The only silver lining is it's not going to be as hot. This helps to bring our temperatures down. Of course, it's plenty muggy and humid, but it's not as brutally hot. So that's good news, but we have to have a trade off, of course, and that's the flash flood warnings, the potential flooding issues we could be running into getting into today. Of course, already seeing some heavy downpours across the New Orleans Metro, and we have more of that on tap and we'll kind of walk you through that again. Let's take a wider look at what's going on across the area. Heavy stuff kind of rough weather still west of I-55, but the North Shore will be seeing some storms later this afternoon. Our River Parish is seeing some heavy showers and storms as well. We'll continue to see that as that line pushes east northeastward. Obviously, the city of New Orleans and through Metairie and Jefferson Parish into St. Charles Parish seeing some heavy showers and storms. Also, even into Slidell, we got this one stray storm moving, kind of straddling the line here towards Slidell into South Mississippi. So starting to see some storms pop up north of the lake as well in the Slidell area showers into St. Bernard Parish, more so over the marshy areas. But yeah, the worst and heaviest of the rain still off to the west in places like Lutcher, Vachery starting to see it, Convent, Laplace, seeing those heavy showers and storms. And again, continuing to monitor maybe some severe potential within these because of the strong wind gusts. Actually, a new severe thunderstorm warning has just been issued for um, Tangipahoa Parish. So that is to account for the storm as it travels eastward towards I-55. Tangipahoa Parish under a severe thunderstorm warning because of the strong wind gusts up to maybe 50, 55 miles per hour. So we'll be watching that. Severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 2.15 this afternoon for Tangipahoa Parish. Again, strong wind gusts are the reason for the issuance of the warning, but there could be some very small hail that may be able to reach the ground, but it's the wind gusts and the heavy rain we'll be watching within these storms this afternoon. Again, a reminder, flash flood warning in effect for the New Orleans Metro. Rainfall rates very impressive. I mean, these are dumping some rain, but good news is we were watching this storm. Well, I was watching this storm over the, the spillway and it was really heavy over the last hour, but it has kind of fizzled out and subsided. So that's the thing, even though the, it's coming down pretty hard in Metairie and New Orleans now, give it some time. It will rain itself out, but hopefully you can kind of take it easy, maybe pull over if the rainfall is becoming too intense. Let's walk you through with high res precision cast this afternoon. It's kind of behind the times on what's happening now. It's showing what's happening now on the model, like in the future by two hours. So I think this is going to be sped up a little bit. So we are dealing with the storms now. There are more on the way this afternoon and throughout the early evening. But by later tonight, we get closer to dinner time. This kind of winds down and we get into tomorrow and we do this again in the morning hours. Tomorrow we'll probably see some storms popping up towards the coast or on the south shore, just like we did today. And then they spread inland. We get scattered storms across the area tomorrow. So flash flooding, a concern today, a concern tomorrow, and really over the next week. We'll take a look at a different model, kind of showing the copious amounts of rain over the metro area now. So kind of picking up on that fact already. 
getting into later this afternoon, still dealing with some storms, especially North Shore. They're starting to see some storms unfold for them. They've been dry all day, so now they got the storms coming for them. And then here's tomorrow. Morning showers and storms at the coast, and then inland across the area tomorrow, we all get storms. And again, those heavy showers possible the next several days can prompt the flooding concerns, the flash flooding, and the nuisance street flooding, unfortunately. Oh, my, my thing is doing something troopy here. Let me, let me change it up here. Let me show you the tower camera. Yeah, that's sheet of rain coming in across the city. So you can see the tower cam here showing you the dark clouds, the heavy rain over the city of New Orleans. Traffic's still moving on the road, of course, but if you do find that the rain is coming down so hard, I sometimes I have to pull over. It's, it becomes very intense rain. But it's a typical summer afternoon, unfortunately. We do have more rain in the forecast. This is probably a little bit above average for the normal rain we get. I think we're getting into more of a wetter pattern than what is average for the summer. So we have that wetter and stormy pattern, not only today, but over the next week. Look at, again, the silver lining is, check out these temperatures. I mean, 80s, 70s for some, and this is what we have the next few days. Temperatures every day in the upper 80s, warm, muggy, numerous showers and storms every day with the possibility of street flooding and one rogue strong storm maybe producing a wind gust up to maybe 50 miles per hour or so and some frequent lightning also found within a lot of these storms in addition to those heavy downpours so thanks for tuning in on this thursday afternoon we'll be back to bring you the latest updates we'll be back on air if something else pops up if there are more flash flood warnings we'll be back on our digital stream and of course we'll be back for the wwl louisiana news at five